The News Chronicle celebrated its 100th birthday with a dinner to as varied a collection of celebrities as I have ever seen. Mr. Lawrence Cadbury, the paper's chairman, was host and first speaker. It is a great honor to have so many distinguished guests here tonight. On behalf of your host, I bid you a hearty welcome to our centenary celebration. Some of those who have been invited have been kept away by the fog. Others have had to refuse for various reasons. We have, for instance, had the following postcard from Mr. George Bernard Shaw. <laughs> and too near my own centenary, join you in the years. <laughs> the birth of the Daily News was first announced in Punch in December 1850, 1845. The advertisement read, New Morning Paper, to commence at the opening of Parliament, price five months. The Daily News, the great Charles Dickens was the first editor. Speaking as a liberal leader, Lady Bonham Carter said, It's just a century ago today since this newspaper was born. And surely no child was ever born under luckier stars. As Mr. Cadbury has told you, the Crystal Palace was its cradle, Mr. Punch was its godfather, Charles Dickens was the monthly nurse, and uh, what a year to be born in. As my great-grandfather was the first editor, my uncle, Philip Dickens, was there, and so was I. Another Dickens descendant was my uncle Gerald. This was a banquet Mr. Pickwick would have enjoyed. Here's the house in Doughty Street where he was created. Now it's the home of the Dickens Fellowship. When Dickens was a journalist, he often lunched at the Cheshire Cheese in Fleet Street. You find it mentioned in the Tale of Two Cities. St Andrew's Church, mentioned in Oliver Twist, hasn't changed much since the days of Bill Sykes and Fagin. The Old George Inn at Southwark is another Dickens landmark. A hundred years ago, Charles Dickens edited this paper. Today, his chair is filled by Gerald Barry. So far as the press is concerned, the next hundred years is likely to see tremendous developments. On the purely mechanical side, there are said to be at this moment a number of remarkable inventions awaiting development. And it may well be that long before 2046, your newspaper will be delivered to you, fully printed and illustrated, in a continuous series of editions throughout the day by means of a simple contrivance fitted in your drawing room instead of being delivered once a day through the letterbox. 